Hey everybody, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with day 15 and maybe more. <laughs> Depends on how far I get with this one. All right, so I went looking for inspiration from past uh, doodles and I found one from, what year was this? Wow, 2018. Okay, so I was thinking I might like to try this one right here so I could practice doing tiny lines that are a little more consistent than what I've done in the past. We'll see how this goes. It might be more like this one. Maybe this one. I don't know, but <laughs> we'll make a plan. And it'll be this one. <laughs> wow, that took a turn quick. Alrighty, so here's the rubber. Um, let's see. I'm really not set up yet. I just brought it to the table and kind of turned on the camera. Where is the vellum? Oh, uh, let's see. I had some. So that I could do this. Nope. What happened to it? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, here it is. So... Instead of me trying to reinvent the wheel, I'm just going to take this vellum and I'm going to trace this on it because it's about the right size. So we need a pencil. And we're just going to trace it. And it's... Wow, that was hard. <laughs> It's just that simple. <laughs> well, I say that, but wait till we start. <laughs> All right, so let's take this with some scissors. And stuff out of the way so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, what am I doing? I do it here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's going to take much rubbing to do this. It's just, what, three lines? Voila. Okay. Whoops. This way. Okay. All right. So this was never meant. What I'm drawing now was never meant to meet, like, be butted up against this. So they're not equally spaced. Like, these are not equally spaced. And they're not, I don't know, they just, I don't think they're going to meet. But we'll give it a shot. What the hey? Okay, let's do tiny stuff first. And I'm sorry if I get out of frame. Sometimes I get I get into what I'm doing and I forget. Oh, that didn't go very well. I've been watching a lot of other people. I follow other carvers. Of course, I follow um, Julie Finfei on um, Instagram. And, uh, is it Little Rowan Redhead? And then also Martha somebody. Martha's Art or something like that. These are, these are carvers. And they do it all the time. I think Julie does it, you know, sporadically. I mean, it's not the focus of her, her Instagram. She does a million different other things. 
concerning art. But these other ladies are, they, they do lino prints and all kinds of stuff. All right, so there's the beginning little lines. Now I'm gonna step it up and do something a little deeper. Not by much, huh? This way. I hate going off the ends here because I'm never really sure if I get it right. I think I probably need one of the other larger gouges to do this. one may be too big. Maybe this is the one I want. I don't know. I just want there to be a distinct difference in what I'm carving from the outside. Let's see. It's kind of hard to see here. We're having a very cloudy day and it's predicted it's going to rain here all day. So it's like 820, 825 in the morning and it it's dark, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> and we've got a big old pollen alert today for cedar and juniper. The thing about living in Texas is a lot of stuff does not die off in the winter, and then we have pollen all winter. Then when it rains, it washes a lot of it away, so we're good until the next time it dries out, and then we go through the whole cycle again. You know, everybody knows that about where they live, about their trees, if, especially if you have asthma or allergies. You understand the nature of the beast. <clears throat> okay, I think we might have gotten where we want to be. Now the other part. I may fast forward through this part because it's just going ding, 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 oops, ding, 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 you know. So I'll probably fast forward through this part. Nah. <laughs> I need to see the book again. Where is it? I need to take a look at what I did again to make sure it's close to what I thought I was going to do. Okay, so the inside, this portion is empty, so I only have to do this and this. All right, before I do any more carving on this, I think I'm going to need to stamp this to see if the ends will meet, just for grins and giggles. And we're going to need paper for that. We can use this. Because it's not like I'm going to cover up any, whoop, not like I'm going to cover up any great pattern on this, because it's just going to be making lots of little straight lines. And now my fingers are going to be ugly all day. Well, at least while I'm doing this. Let's close that up. Oh, oh wait, what am I doing? I need to do it the opposite direction now and see if they'll meet. If they don't meet, it's not that big of a deal. But just for curiosity's sake, I want to know. Not quite, but I think it's because I didn't do it. Well, that's pretty close. Let me do it again. Let's do this again. Let's see if we can get them to match up because it'll look really cool with all those little tiny lines. All 
right, so I've got those little ugh, shaving things on there. Okay, let's see if I can line this up better. Like I said, if they don't match, it's not a big deal. Voila, look at that. <laughs> so, so hippie, so hippie. Okay, so now we do the little teeny lines. And this part, I'm gonna fast forward. Okay. Sorry, I was watching a movie. Um, all right, let me stamp this and see what we've got. I have a big blob on one side where I overcarved. Yeah, I can see it right there. I'm sorry, my stamp didn't stamp very well. Okay, that's not too bad, except for this should be better, but for the most part, not too bad. Not a complicated stamp to carve. Beginners can do this. And if you look at mine, you'll see why. <laughs> I need to clean this one up just to make sure it goes all the way down. Make sure that goes all the way down in there. Okay, this part right here is too many lines coming together in one spot, but it's okay because this is just for fun. I gotta keep telling myself that. <laughs> All right, next will be the jelly plate.
Okay, I'm going to do a recap. Um, I traced my stuff with the vellum. Then I made the kind of square and carved the semicircle. Where did I put the stamp? Here it is. And then I decided that I didn't like it flat. I really wanted more color, so I needed to get rid of the outside edges. So that's what I did is to get rid of the outside edges. And I see I need to carve a little more, a little deeper in here so that I don't get all these streakies. All I want is the color. I don't want that stuff. Uh, so that's that. And I'm going to clean this up and then go wash it. Alrighty, so let's see what we have here. We have all kinds of bad colors. All right, so there's one. And that's when I still had the whole square thing there. This is another one. Bad choice of colors. Didn't show up very well. Then I wanted to do this. I don't know how this happened, but look what happened in the middle. There's lots of red. Same colors. And then all this was the yellow. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> then we have this. All right, and then we have this one. And maybe if I pull, I really like this. This is very cute. Someone's at the door. Sorry. <laughs> um, my dogs bark every day about the same time because the neighbor cat comes over here and I feed him. I think everybody feeds this cat. So it's cold and rainy outside today, so I went ahead and fed him, and then he'll go off and go to the next neighbor's house and eat there, too. He's the neighborhood freeloader. Okay, so that should be it for... What day am I on? Oh, if I don't look at my book, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, but the day 16, and I'm really behind. So I'm um, going to try to do a little more carving today. And I may combine a couple days together since I fast forward through a lot of it. But that's day 16's fruit of my efforts there. Alrighty, I will see you guys on the next day.